guys, so this is my clip. This is how the clip is. As you can see, there's no effect on the clip. Okay. So we are going to work on this clip and then I'm going to show you how to do the advanced um, character introduction time freeze. Okay. So um, first of all, I'm going to choose a place where I want to freeze the frame. Okay. So I think this place will be okay. Um, no, this place will be okay for me. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this side. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it a little bit forward. Okay, and then I'm going to cut that side too because I want the video to play after I finish freezing it. So after that, I'm going to take, um, I'm going to select the side where I want to time freeze it and then I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to go to change clip speed and then I'm going to also click on freeze frame and then press on change. Okay, I want the time freeze part to be a little bit long when you're watching it. So I'm going to drag this side to this side. Okay, to this side. Let me split this side. Yeah. Now, as you can see, if you play, it's freezed. Okay, nothing is moving. So let me bring it back. So all I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to out. Okay, I'm going to bring it to this side to stretch it. I click on it, then Alt, and then I'm going to bring this one up. Okay, so now we have to work on the top um, one, the top one that we freeze it. We go to um, color. We're going to use three sides. We're going to use edit, fusion, color, and then later we're going to add our test using the cards. So let's go to color. So with the color side, when you go to the color side, um, the first thing you need to do is to right click on this side and then you add alpha output so you connect this blue side to this blue side okay after connecting it you go to the side to enlarge your screen so that we can mask it so after you connect it, you select the side or and then you select the side for the masking then you zoom it on your mouse okay with your mouse you use it to zoom it and then you click this start to mask okay very quick because I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to max it very, very quick because I don't want to waste so much time. When you're doing it on a work or a project, you can decide to mask it with patience, okay? So, yeah. I feel like masking in DaVinci Resolve is um, a little bit cool because I did this in Premiere Pro and I feel like, no, I can't do it in Resolve. So let me try it and see. And voila, I was able to do it. So let's, let's take our time and mask it, but in a very quick way. So we're almost done with the masking. I know I didn't really mask it well, but we're going to take this one. Okay, so after that, we just go to the side to go to our normal video. And now if you look at the, the layers, you can see that this video, this layer has been maxed out. You can see black there. So after you finish this, I go back to edit. Okay, so when you go to edit, you know, this is what we worked on. Now, this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go down because we are working on this. I'm going to go down. When you go down, you go to real time and scaling. I prefer to change these things to optical flow and the second one to enhance better. And the last one, not the third one, leave the third one. The last one to smoother. Okay. So after you finish with the side, what you're supposed to do is to 
you know you want to scale it you want to enlarge the image you know because we have the background and the top one so i'm going to zoom this one to let's say to this side okay now that's the zoom that we have and then i'm going to bring the position a little bit forward okay so now you can see it is moving forward okay it is moving forward my ram is messing up today so let me bring it downward a little bit let me bring it down yeah okay i want her, sh her watch to show so let me bring it up too because i don't want to lose her watch i just want the watch to show because she looks so beautiful in the watch yeah so let me bring it to one okay and let's let's bring it a little bit back to six and scale it a little bit okay so let me bring to zero okay now we finished scaling here and now let's work on this background so i'm going i want to change the background to black and white and also i want to change it to uh, I want to change you to, I want to blur it, blur it up. Okay, so let me just bring this um, uh, uh, effect, which is BCC from Boris, black and white, to the background. Okay, when you bring it to the background, it's going to change it to, to black and white. Okay, as you can see on the screen. And then let me go to the effect and let me go and blur the background. background okay, so I need to blur it up. So I need um I need a blur, gushing blur. Okay, so here we go with the gushing blur. Let's put it to other background. Okay. So when you now with the gushing blur, uh, let me go for effects. With the gushing blur, you are going to change it two to one so if you want to get to your effect at uh in resolve there's a video so you just press on the effect you're going to get to your effect and then with the gas emblem, let's push this one to one so that it's going to blur everything up if you want you just push it a little bit so the the, the background can show a little bit let, let, let me do it that way okay so the background can show a little bit let me bring it here yeah. okay let me back okay so as you can see we have a little bit of the background showing now after we're done with this as you can see um we need to nest this video we need to nest the top one where we freezed it so you right click on it and go to new compound clip in premiere pro it is called nest in resolve it's called new compound clip so let me name this one mask okay mask and you go to create so this is the part where we're going to outline um, this lady okay as you saw in the video so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to fusion okay i'm going to go to fusion when i go into fusion um um as you can see my video is loading yeah when i go to fusion as you can see there's nothing in the background you can see that the media one is selected just click anywhere to unselect it okay so just click anywhere so now it's not selected we have media one in and we have media we have media in one and we have media out one okay so what you are supposed to do here i want you to just watch and listen carefully what you are supposed to do here is um you're going to control and then you you press control and space on your keyboard or on mac as for windows on mac you're going to press command space on your keyboard so after that you're going to um, type um background okay background background and you, you click on add and then you bring it to the side okay and then you also go in you click this side again and then you go for control space again then you go for erode, dilate, erode or dilate. So erode, 
see it here, you add, add it to it, and you bring it to the side. Okay, after you're going to connect your media in one to, to the side, okay, to the input of the arrow dialect, and then you connect the output of the arrow dialect to the background, the input of the background, and then you connect the output of the background, <coughs> sorry, to media, the output of media in one. You're going to have a new merge, okay? And you can see that my, um, my image has been um, darkened up. Now, to bring it back, you just press, um, or you just click on, on your keyboard, you just press on your keyboard, just type um, with your control T, okay? Control T and we are back. So after clicking on Control T, you just have to click on the arrow dilate. This is where we can outline it. You see the side is amount. Okay, so we just have to bring stretches here, depending on how you want it. Okay, so I think this will be cool for me. Okay, this is too much. This will be cool for me. Any way you want it, you can do it. Okay, and then you go to the background. You click on the background. Now you can change the color. The color is black, which I don't want. I want white color. So you can change it to white, and then this is it. Okay. Um, I think this is too big, so I want to go back to this the amount and then bring it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So that will be okay for me. I bring it up a little bit. Okay. So that will be okay for me. So when you are done here, you go back to edit. Okay. So you see that it has appeared at our edit. So we are done with um, with it. So what we are supposed to do, we are going to bring in this here, okay? If you want my files, all you need to do is to subscribe to my channel. And then after that, send me a message that you subscribe, I'm going to say it, and I'm going to send you the files personally through your email, okay? So all you're supposed to do is subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to send you this or any file. If you want the videos or this, I'm going to send it to you. So what we are going to do, we are going to push this one up, okay? Then, um, after pushing it up, we can like get a little space to bring this one to in. Okay, so we can bring this one here. And then uh, we can drag this one to the, this side a little bit. Sorry, my, I don't know, my PC is really, really disturbing me today. So now, we, as you can see, we have this image at the back of it. So I want to make it a little bit big and I want to make some small animations to there. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to I'm going to go, you know, you hit you click on this image uh, this first and then you go to the zoom side of it. Okay, you zoom it a little bit so that it will be bigger. Okay, so as you can see, it's getting bigger. Okay. After making it a little bit bigger, I want to do a little bit of animation to it as you are doing it in uh, Premiere Pro. You can see, yeah. as you can see now, it is getting bigger. Sorry, my PC is a little bit slow today, so that's why we're getting um, a delay of things. So let's crank it a little bit because I want it a little bit big. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this here. Okay, and let me make it a little bit bigger. 450, 450 will be okay. Okay, 476 is okay. And then I'm going to hit on the keyframe, okay? I'm going to hit on the keyframe, okay? So when it gets to this side, I want it to be more bigger. Let's make it like 1,900, yeah, that would be okay. So when it gets to that side, it's going to come up, it's going to get bigger, you're going to see very soon. When it gets to that side, it's going to be more, more bigger. Okay, so basically this is um, how to animate it. And I also want to animate the lady a little bit. So we go back to our first uh, frame. Okay. We go back to our first frame. As you can see now, it has, it has become bigger, as you can see. Okay, we go back to our first frame. Now the lady, we need to, we need to uh, zoom her a little bit. Okay, so when she gets to in the position two, we need to bring her here a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, I'm sorry. I think I need to. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna put on this frame and this frame for the lady, and then when she when she gets here, when she gets around this side. Okay, when she gets around this side, we will zoom a little bit. Okay, so let's zoom the lady a little bit and position her around the side a little bit. Okay, so basically we're almost done with our tutorial. I'm sorry my PC RAM is really, really running slow today. So um, this is it, yeah. Okay, now we have what I am really talking about. So, yeah. Now let's add some test to it. Okay, if you want to add some test to it, basically I'll show you how to do it. If I'm if I'm supposed to play, my PC is not going to allow me to play very well. So basically, this is how to do it, and everything's going to work out. So let me add some test to it. So if you want to add some test to it, all you have to do is to go to cut. So when you come to the test area, the cut area, sorry, that is when you can add your test to it. But let's go back to the edit area again. Okay, I need to also go and push this up again, once again, because we need to let the test be on top of this one. So we come to the cut area. Okay, after coming to the cut area, um, we can choose any test we want to choose. I think I'll choose this one. Okay, um, I'm going to choose this one. Okay, then you come to the edit area to edit it very, very well. Okay, so now we can click on the test and edit it. Okay, so I want to name this lady. Let me bring this one here. I want to name her, I want to call her um bridesmaid because if you're looking at her she looks like a bridesmaid okay so i'm going to call her brides bridesmaid okay then it's okay there yeah? so as you can see the bridesmaid is at the back of the lady i need to push it to this side a little bit um so that it can show here okay I need, I need, let me go back to the control side because, uh, okay, I want the maid to be down. I don't want the maid to be up. So, yeah. So, if we come here, we can adjust the settings of it. Okay. Sorry, it's supposed to be up there. So, let's bring it to this side a little bit. Okay. So, okay. So, um, So I think we are done with the tutorial. Okay, we are done with the tutorial. You can render your video at this stage. Everything is going to work fine, like what I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial. You can change the test and do it the way you want to do it. Okay, you can scale it up, make it a little bit big. Okay, by scaling it up or whatever. So thank you for watching, and I hope you watch it and then um you study how how i did mine so thank you so much and subscribe to the channel this pk works and once again i work thank you so much for watching